Now, the Elf surname is well known in sporting circles, and now there's someone else looking to add her name to it. Samantha Elf, Ernie's daughter, is looking to become a Springbok. She recently started playing rugby and has been invited to the Bok women's camp. ENCS Justin Ford spoke to her, brings us the story. South Africans are familiar with the name Ernie Elf, and his daughter Samantha, a rugby player, loves that she will have something on her father. I like joking with him. I was like, I have a green jersey now, even if you might not have a green jacket yet. So it's a huge honor for any family. Mine is no different from that. And being the first potential Springbok in the family is also a really nice one that I get to take to the dinner table. The support has been immeasurable. And obviously having somebody that has that championship mentality to learn from, both with my dad and with my mom, who's been traveling with him on tour my whole life. Sport was always part of the Alts household. But it was only when she completed her studies that Samantha decided to play rugby. So I think rugby has given a lot of us here a home in a way that not a lot of other places can. So for me, it started at university. I was studying at Stanford. I was done playing tennis, done playing soccer. I'd done that for almost 12 years at that stage. And I decided it was time for a change. And the coach took one look at me and said, that looks like a lock. And here I am today. <laughs> the women's game in the USA is growing fast. We've seen what happens when those women's sports have the opportunities that other men are granted for free almost. And it grows not only the base of players that you have to work with, but the overall talent and the rugby IQ. It was a no-brainer as to who the 25-year-old would want to represent. I spent my first five years of my life here, which I know doesn't seem like much, but we've always kept our base and we've always kept strong roots in South Africa. It's amazing to see what can bring people together. And for me, that's been rugby. And that same thing is my family is here, my rugby is here, my life is here. Alf has a clear plan for her path in the game. There's no going back to where I was before. And that really drives me to also inspire others to come to those games, to make sure that we're getting the funding that's deserved of women's sports. I mean, you can see the success that the Bulls had this season. You can see what happens when that talent is actually given the opportunity to grow and thrive. She has played in the green and gold, but is yet to receive an official test cap. I'm very lucky to be playing next to somebody like Cindy, who's been, she's our most capped player now, she's our captain, and she's gone through every phase of this game, and she's the driver. We are almost the gatekeepers of that excellence that we're trying to bring forward. Alts will stay at camp as the Springbok women prepare for the WXV tournament in October, in the hope of soon receiving her official Bok number. Justin Ford, Cape Town.